So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today I'm going to explain transmog for people that do not know about it and how it works in Diablo 4. Are you fed up looking like you've just been thrown through a charity shop window? You want your character to stand out no matter what you are wearing? You want him to look badass? Well, that's what I bring for you today. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away an ultimate edition version of this game. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed, and leave a comment down below. So transmog in this game is pretty straightforward, but it is a little confusion. I've had a few questions about it, so today I will explain all. Okay, so as you can see, my character here looks incredible. Now, if I apply these uh, arms to my character, these gloves, you can see when that text gets off the screen, that my appearance has not changed. I still look exactly the same. That's because no matter what I am wearing, I'm always gonna be looking like that warrior you see there. Nothing will change on my character whatsoever, which is absolutely great. There you go, change, go back before I forget. But hey, so how does this work? Well, firstly guys, you need to come to your local town and you're looking for that wardrobe symbol. Mine is right there. So let's go. So there's three tabs in here, guys. We have wardrobe, we have appearance and we also have headstone i don't have any headstones so i can't change that so appearance what you originally created in regards to your character you can change it up to if you want to but wardrobe is where the trans mug happens so here guys we have five slots and we also have uh, slots here offhand i haven't got nothing equipped there so i can't do that my back trophy i don't have nothing equipped there so i can't do that but my weapon i can Simply select the weapon, and the weapon variant it is mine's a scythe, so I can actually make it appear as any of these scythes if I want to. But I do like the way mine looks as standard, so I'm just going to keep that. But that's basically how it works. You can also, I believe you can, can you change your color for, I uh, know, you cannot change colors on weapons, which is unfortunate. But in regards to armor, let's just select the helm for now. If I select, say, that's pretty cool, so I select that. Then, guys, I can change that color. I can also guys not only apply it to the said piece we are looking at but I can also apply it to the overall armor just like so see what it all looks like and this is the same guys for every piece every piece of uh, armor slot you have unlocked here will be available for you to use in transmog so you're probably wondering guys well how do I unlock these specific appearances well that's where it gets a little bit tricky now I'm just gonna back out this because I do not want to save it I like the way my character looks pretty badass so guys to unlock appearances for arm and weapons you actually have to get uh, be rewarded obtain said armor or said weapon but it doesn't end there you also have to salvage said weapon you can't just have the weapon and sell it you have to salvage it you can't drop it you have to salvage it and well this is how it works so for instance guys for instance guys if i go across to uh, the blacksmith as we'll see right here in my local town and let's say i want to salvage this weapon right here i'm not sure if i've already got this unlocked but it doesn't really matter and um, so if i just mark that as junk mark this as junk mark that as junk mark a lot of these as junk things you don't need things that you're never going to use in the future but double check everything i would want uh, just just mark them as junk, mark them as salvage, and then just come to this guy, and then just all you want to do is salvage all junk. Now, any items you haven't already got via that transmog system, you can see right, just at their top left, that transmog unlocked, will now be available for you to use within your wardrobe within that transmog system. And it really is that simple, guys. So if you come across an amazing helmet, which is an amazing stat roll, one you do not have, you will have to salvage it for it to be used across the board from there on out as you progress the game. So keep that in mind. So definitely double check any item before you salvage it because you do not want to be salvaging the wrong item or an item that could be useful to you in the future. You want to stash that away. Only items you know that are going to be useless to you, those are the ones you want to salvage and those are the ones you want to apply via that transmog. And it really is, guys, as simple as that. And that is how transmog works within Diablo 4. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.